and, and do you think this sort of grassroots approach can begin to foster more of a sense of satisfaction among Papuans with being part of Indonesia? Of course, because the majority of our people are grassroots. The majority of Indonesian, the pyramid is really large on the bottom. So it is a, it is a problem. The problem of Papua is not only, it's not unique to Papua. We have poverty, uneducation, lack of competitiveness, lack of basic infrastructure all over Indonesia. So by taking Papua, we're making pilots that can be replicated all over Indonesia. And this will also bring the Papuans outside Papua, where they can become the ones to teach. And they will teach it better because they really started from the very, very, very bottom compared to other tribes. And do you see the security issue as a, as a problem, sort of hampering development, the kind of presence of military and, and security forces? No. No, because there will be problem of security. The, the, pro the security problem is very simple. We are poor. The government promised us that you will help us, that you will feed us if it's necessary, that you will provide us with clean water with all the basic needs. So if you meet it, why should I have a problem? The community is very simple. They want to have a life that they understand and that they want. And if that includes that everybody has electricity, why our village doesn't have electricity, it's normal that they're upset.